cracking with the Rasha. We're back at you with another video. Swatch out two times in a week. Damn. Let's get it. Nah, but uh, hey, I just want to say I appreciate every single one of you that are still tapping in because ever since I got demonetized, my channel hasn't been being pushed by YouTube. So I know the ones that are still tapping in are the ones that are subscribed or have my notifications turned on. So again i do appreciate every single one of you guys that you know what i mean that that have my uh my notifications on and are still subscribed to me and you know what i mean i'm gonna keep dropping content for you guys but uh you know what i mean let's just get it cracking so today's video is gonna be uh it's gonna be a story slash like i'm gonna be reading off the the uh the transcripts and all that good stuff because i don't want to put you know what i mean nobody's business out there nobody's name out there that's not already out there this is already a closed case and let me say this before I start the video. Um, this video is not to glorify or to to clown or anything like that. This is not to glorify gang violence. This is not to to make the homies, well, the upstate Surangos look good. It's none of that. It's simply just a video um, that I thought would be good to put out because I haven't seen it on any channels as far as I know. Um, and... Well, yeah, you know, just basically wanted to put that out there. And now I want to read the, the statement of the case just so that um, I let you guys know the, the outcome, uh, what transpired. Um, you know, just to not leave you guys on the cliffhanger of how the... Because the, this is a close case, as I said. Um, it already, you know, this was years ago. This was about 10 years ago or more. Um, so, yeah, this is the statement of the case. A jury convicted defendant Jonathan Ismail Guzman of first-degree murder. The jury found true an allegation that defendant personally and intentionally discharged a firearm causing death and found true an allegation that defendant committed murder for the benefit of a criminal street gang. The trial court uh, sentenced defendant to a total prison term of 50 years to life consisting of a term of 25 years to life for the murder and a term of 25 years to life for a firearm enhancement now with that out of the way i'm going to read two different articles one is going to be an actual article and the other one is going to be the transcripts as i said but both have different uh information that may be uh important or details that may be important so this is the article a jury this week convicted a san jose sureño gang member of first degree murder after he brazenly shot a man to death last year at a busy intersection at the end of rush hour at the end of a rush hour bike chase. Jonathan Guzman apparently targeted his victim, 18-year-old 18, 18 Hugo Gutierrez, because he passed in front of a Sureño stronghold wearing a ponytail toward the top of his head, a hairstyle associated with the rival Norteño gang. With immediate help from witnesses, San Jose police caught the killer about 15 minutes after the shooting. After a month-long trial, during which Guzman used his shackles to scratch gang initials into his cell wall, a jury took only two hours Wednesday to convict him. Guzman will be sent sentenced on January 25th, 2013. He's facing 50 years to life in prison. Deputy District Attorney James Cahan, or Cahan, who prosecuted the case, said out of this, out of this horrific tragedy came excellent cooperation between our fine police and brave citizens. Officers caught the murderer minutes after the killing and the heroic conduct on the part of witnesses assured the justice was brought to bear. Just before 5 p.m. January 21, 2011, Guzman chased the victim as they both rode their bicycles through the heavy traffic at Story Road and Capitol Expressway. While pedaling, the 17-year-old fired his semi-automatic handgun at the victim, finally, finally bringing him down. Guzman stood over Gutierrez and executed him. Nine bullets struck the victim. Investigators later found ammunition fragments in the doorway of a nearby restaurant. Responding to the shots, officers Nicholas Bronte and Frank Hag drove to an elementary school that is a known hideout for the gang, directed by witnesses. They came upon Guzman in the school's field and caught him. An outraged wife. An outraged eyewitness drove his car to search for the shooter. He stopped to tell an officer who had someone in custody that he was not the shooter. He later came upon the real shooter, now in custody. That day and in court, he and more than half a dozen other witnesses identified Guzman as the killer. 
now that I read the article, I'm going to read the uh, the actual transcripts, um, basically stating the facts of what happened, as it says, the shooting itself. So it's basically it's basically going to be what I just said to you, what I just read to you, except in the, the, the way the court thinks it happened or, you know, basically like the way they were the witnesses explained to them at approximately five o'clock p.m. On January 21st, 2011, Hugo Gutierrez rode a bike on Capitol Expressway in San Jose. Defendant Guzman, who was also riding a bicycle, followed Gutierrez. Defendant, pointed a, defendant Guzman pointed a gun at Gutierrez and fired. Gutierrez got off his bicycle, ran toward a restaurant, and fell down outside of the restaurant. Defendant Guzman jumped off his bicycle and walked towards uh, Gutierrez. Victim Gutierrez attempted to stand up, but he lost his footing. Gutierrez put up his hands in an effort to shield himself, and he screamed for help. Defendant Guzman began, quote-unquote, rapidly firing the gun at Gutierrez. Gutierrez was, quote-unquote, just lying there on the ground, and defendant fired multiple shots at him. Defendant Guzman then jumped on his bicycle and rode away. Gutierrez suffered gunshot wounds on his chest, abdomen, arms, and legs. One of the bullets struck Gutierrez's heart, and it killed him. Now for the gang evidence. At the time of the shooting, the defendant was a member of Comar Vagos Trece, hereafter KVT, a Sureño street gang. Gutierrez was a member of Just Bustin' Funk, hereafter JBF, also known as Just Bangin' 14, a Norteño street gang. There's a long-standing rivalry between Sureños and Norteños. Gang detective Carlos Garcia testified as an, ex as an expert in Hispanic criminal street gangs, specifically KVT. His expertise was based on the following. Uh, academic training regarding criminal street gangs. Four and a half years of patrolling the streets of San Jose, including gang areas, contact, and conversations with 250 gang members and affiliates, including KVT members. <laughs> Uh, regular conversations with gang detectives and homicide detectives, including conversations regarding the operations of KVT and conversations with agents from other law, law enforcement agencies. Detective Garcia opined that as of January 21st, 2011, the primary activities on KVT of KVT were assaults with deadly weapons and firearm possessions as prohibited by former section, whatever that number is. He explained that KVT members engaged in those activities regularly and on a constant basis not just occasionally his opinion regarding the primary activities of kvt was based on conversations with gang members conversations with other law enforcement officials and prior police documentation and there's that so basically the point of this video is uh just to open eyes and say that yeah you know the the homie put in his work and the other individual lost his life or as many people see it that way but in my eyes and many others eyes that are more that are mature to this type of stuff now that's two lives lost the homie got 50 years to 50 years to life you know what i mean he ain't getting out and the other individual lost his life one was 18 one was 17 you know what i mean that's uh that's two lost lives and for what basically it's uh you know like I said, there are going to be homies that are going to be proud of this video that are, that are going to think that I'm like, that I'm highlighting, you know what I mean, that 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 the individual put in his work. And you know what he did, you know what I mean? That's, that's just, let's be honest, he did. But at the same time, it's not really nothing to be proud about because, as I said, you know, that's two lives lost and they were both young as hell, you know what I mean? 17 and 18 years old, you know, and, and who knows where, you know what I mean? Uh, the individual that that uh, the individual that's locked up, we we don't even know what's up with them. Like I don't, I I mean at least I don't. Maybe he's still pushing, doing his thing, and maybe he's not. You know what I mean? Maybe he gave it up. And if he gave it up, then that's that's too bad. You know what I mean? That's sad. But hey, you know what I mean. With that being said, that was the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys like this type of content. If you guys do, I will um. I'll make more videos like this. And don't think that I'm only going to do Sureños. 
if you guys, you know what I mean, if you guys let me know what you guys want to see, I will do the reports on, you know what I mean, anybody, anybody that, that, uh, that did their thing and, and, you know what I mean, just to put things to light, basically. But, uh, yeah, you know what I mean, with that being said, don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to comment, um, you know what I mean, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and, you know what I mean, share the video, you know what I mean, because, like I said, I'm not getting many views right now because I got demonetized and, you know what I mean, uh, I'm out of the algorithm, so I'd appreciate it if you guys could help me out. If not, it's all good. All you guys got to do is like and comment, and that's enough help. Um, me putting out content is going to, you know I mean, put me back where I need to be at. So, you know, it's not that big a deal, but hey, you know what I mean? Like I say, the goal is to make it out the hood, not stay in it, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one, and I'm out.